Hello guys, thanks for watching. In today's video, we are testing out the KonMari method in my bedroom. I told you in my last video that I purposely have been avoiding the KonMari method because I wanted to do a first impressions for you and just show you what it's like doing it your first time. If it's easy for me to follow, if it's confusing, if it's difficult, all of that stuff. And so I just started watching it on Netflix throughout the last couple days. I have finished the fourth episode. I believe there's only seven in this series, so I'm hoping they continue it and a lot of you guys told me I was gonna love her. I love her. She is just like the cutest, sweetest thing in the world. I love how she comes from like such a positive place and I always talk about positivity so I just feel like I'm relating to her so much right now. So we're going to be testing out the Kanmari method in the dressers. In my bedroom, a lot of you guys know that we're going through a transition right now with the closets in our house and I just need to like redo these. I've been meaning to redo these for several months they need it. I'm going to show you how like disastrous they are right now. So yeah, I'm going to be testing out her method. I'm also going to talk about a lot of my favorite like tips from her throughout this video. I'm just going to like put them in here and there while I'm working on this because I just feel like I've already learned so much from her and I want to share the tips that I'm going to be using in my everyday life with you guys that I think a lot of you guys would find valuable too. So yeah, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Definitely consider subscribing. I would love to have you in my internet fam. And also give this a like if you want me to keep going on the KonMari method since this is my first one. There are honestly so many like rooms and spaces in the house that I want to redo with the KonMari method. So just let me know by giving this a like. And what else do I have to say to you? I feel like there's something else I want to say that I'm forgetting. But if I remember it, I'll put it throughout the video. Thanks so much for spending the time with me today. And let's get started. The first step, of course, is to show you guys what we're working with. So this is one of two dressers that we are doing today. Everything in here is my husband's except for socks. We share a sock drawer. And so the only way that I've ever folded socks is one inside of the other. That's the only way I've ever seen anyone fold socks. But I looked up her method um, for sock folding and I really, really like that. So I'm gonna be redoing that, of course. That's just an iced coffee if you're wondering what that is up there. But as you can see, like, everything is just kind of thrown in here. Here are sweatpants, here's long underwear, and here's like some t-shirts. So it is not organized at all. There's some more shirts down there that are like sort of folded. I honestly have to like, I don't want to say I nag Chad, but like I have to sort of just get on him about having things stay folded and organized because he is the first person to like run in here for something and just like destroy it while he's looking for things. So yeah, I'm gonna have to like remind him that I worked hard on this. I want it to stay nice. And there's like shorts over here. This was like folded a certain way at one point. I feel like I was starting this without even realizing it. <laughs> So that is that drawer and that's pretty much what they all look like. That one is obviously very empty so that one has room for a lot of stuff. This one is shirts and the shirt's folded or it's put in there the wrong way. That one's in the right way um, and it gets super messy down here and then of course at the top that's freshly folded stuff. So basically it's more of the same. That one actually looks pretty good. Um, that one's underwear. And this smaller one is a lot of my stuff. So the top is just, um, that's bras and underwear. And then this one, some of this is workout stuff. Some of this is pajamas. It's the same thing with the one that's under it. They just got really messy and disorganized. As you can see, everything is totally just like shoved in here there's not a lot of room for anything some of it has like sets that are with each other some sets are completely separated so it is like semi folded but i mean we obviously just don't have a ton of room in these drawers let me show you this one yeah like everything just wants to fall out when i open it and this one it won't even shut all the way Here's another closet that needs some work. As soon as the Ikea one is finished, I'm going to be doing a video filling it up with you. And a lot of this stuff is going in there. So stay tuned for this video. This one's coming. And ever since I knew I was going to have another closet and this one was going to be a lot of my husband's things, I sort of have let it go. So that's gonna be a really good video to watch too. 
from Marie Kondo, I know the very first step is pulling everything out and putting it on your bed so you have to face it and look at everything at the same time. So, or like one by one, you know? So it's almost intimidating because once it's on your bed and it's covering where you sleep, you have to deal with it. You just have to figure it out. So let's do that. I'm gonna start with Chaz because that one's still going to be mine. This one's still going to be his. That aspect isn't changing. So I'm gonna start with his, pull everything out, put it on our bed and go from there. One of the main reasons I want to do this is obviously so we can see everything at the same time. I love that about her method, but also I'm hoping there will be some more room in these drawers because as you guys saw, they are jam-packed. So if I can have the same amount of stuff or a little less, there are some things of course I will get rid of. Um, it'll just be so nice to have room to grow. I started talking about that in my last video, having room to grow when you are reorganizing because we all get stuff and the last thing I want is everything to perfectly fit because I know eventually there's going to be a few more things. If things are in laundry, I don't want to pack those in super tight after this. I want to feel like there is space for a few more things when they do come along. So that is one of the biggest goals that I have. The first thing I'm doing is looking up the KonMari folding methods on Pinterest. I did start a page of all of her folding methods I'm using in this video, so I will link it below for you, but I did start out by watching her in video form, of course, folding, and for some reason it was so hard for me to grasp in video form, but seeing it in photos step by step was a lot easier for me, so I will link that below for you guys. Hopefully that will help some of you too. And her number one tip that we've all heard if you're familiar with the KonMari method is to hold on to things that spark joy in your life. I really love that because the last thing you want to see on a daily basis is anything associated with a negative memory. When you walk into your home, your bedroom, or wherever, you always want to feel happy and positive and really good about yourself. So surrounding yourself with positivity, I love that she's just super positive and I love that she just preaches that. And any of you Kanmari experts out there can let me know if I'm doing this right, but it did look like in a lot of her photos and videos that she starts folding a t-shirt face up. The reason I start face down is because if there is a graphic on the shirt, I want to be able to see it while it's folded, so that way I know my husband isn't pulling it out because he thinks it's a solid shirt when it's a graphic shirt or something with a print on it. Let me know if I'm right, but it really looked like she starts folding t-shirts face up. I just feel like for our lifestyle, this is way more practical since we can see exactly Exactly what shirt it is while it's folded without pulling it out so yeah that's what I decided to do it this way
And one of Marie's most famous tips is to hold on to things that spark joy in your life. I really love that because you don't want to be seeing something on a daily basis that has a negative memory associated with it. Um, there was a woman in one of the episodes that said she's holding on to clothes that fit her right now, but she wishes she was a little bit smaller and she could fit into different things. And with things like that, I've decided if I have things that don't fit me, which I have several things that don't fit me that I wish did, I'm not going to have those front and center in my closet in a stack with all of the other things that do fit me. I'm going to put those in storage and I'm going to revisit those in a few months because the last thing I, I want to see in the morning when I'm getting ready is something I wish I could wear but I don't fit into. I don't feel like that is going to make me feel good. I don't feel like things like that would make anyone feel good. So yeah, if there's anything you're holding on to that you cannot fit into right now, I highly recommend storing it away and not seeing it on a daily basis. I know it kind of acts for some people as like a motivator, like, ooh, I need to be healthy so I can fit into that. But I also feel like if you are about to leave the house, the last thing you want to see is something that would fit you if you were five pounds lighter. So that's just something that I'm gonna do and I think it would help some of you guys too. And as you guys will likely notice, I'm not getting rid of things in today's video, but with Marie's method, when you get rid of things, she says to say thank you to it, which I think is a really great thing as well because when you are reorganizing your home, you really do find things that you didn't even realize you had. And I totally feel like we don't have a ton of stuff, but throughout this process, I am finding a lot of things that I forgot about. I'm also finding things hidden behind the drawers because they were way too full and overstuffed. So I really like that her method is about appreciating what you already have and not being focused on purchasing more things we live in such like an excessive world I'm showing you right here when you fold the shirt down I recommend or she recommends leaving a little bit of space because it just folds so much easier and when it stands up that's how you know it's folded correctly it's time for an update I have all of the shirts folded I'm gonna show that to you but I have to say I thought it was one of those things, at least like for me, where I wouldn't enjoy the process, but I'd be really happy I did it. It's like working out for a lot of people. A lot of people, they don't really enjoy working out, but they're like happy they look good and feel good kind of thing, you know? But honestly, I am enjoying the process. I was not expecting that. It's almost like an arts and crafts project. That's what like I can relate it to for my own life. It's hard to like get everything out and get all of the stuff that you need. But once you have it and you're in the middle of it, it's like enjoyable and relaxing. I really feel like it's that kind of thing. So if you guys haven't started the KonMari method at all, like where you live, I totally recommend that you try it out because honestly this really is an enjoyable experience so I'm gonna show you guys what we've got going on and what I still need to do there's stuff right here on the dresser there's stuff over here on Chad's nightstand so basically over here when I put all of the shirts away I'm going to do like the graphic shirts things with something on the front of them and then like the button shirts and the solid shirts I'm going to like sort those excuse all the fingerprints on my laptop and then right here are tank tops and long sleeve shirts are over here and then there's a bunch of stuff over here um some more shirts with graphics on them these are like his workout shirts you know that have like that like silky material that one has paint all over it and i'm going to um actually on pinterest i've been looking up things on pinterest and my pinterest is below if you guys want to see these pictures honestly i feel like it's so much easier seeing it in a photo like step by step instead of watching a video i thought watching the videos was like real confusing and i honestly wasn't picking it up but seeing it on photos on pinterest it just made it so much easier for me so my pinterest is below if you guys want to see the same slides that i've been looking at and now i'm going to look up them for pants and shorts and socks Seven, eight, dance the night away I am ready for that heartbreak This 
There's also another tip that I know I needed to hear because it's about if you are doing this with someone and you are getting rid of things. She says to, she doesn't say it in this way, but this is totally how I took it. It's almost like she wants you to mind your own business. She doesn't want you to tell someone else what they should get rid of unless they ask you for your advice or for your opinion. And I feel like that is another way to really have this process stay positive. The last thing anyone wants to hear is that they should get rid of something they want to keep. It kind of turns it into like a stressful situation. So I know that I needed to hear this if I was doing this with my husband I'd totally be telling him things he should get rid of but hearing that from her I'm gonna really try not to do that in the future when we need to make room for new things Having the colors in order honestly is so like aesthetically pleasing. I'm gonna try really hard to keep them that way. I feel like it can't be too too hard as long as Chad isn't like pulling things in and out um, and he just like picks something and goes with it then I should be able to keep it going. But I'm gonna show you this other drawer too. This is all of uh, like just um, solids for the most part. Of course that's stripe, but like the regular shirts without any words on them. And then in this drawer is all the long sleeve. These are his tank tops. And then in the back is the workout tops. And he almost always is wearing a regular shirt when he's working out. So that's why I kind of have these in here sort of tight because I know those are not things that he pulls for that often. He doesn't pull for long sleeves that often either. So that drawer probably won't be used that often. That's why I wanted to keep all that stuff in there. Where am I coming? Here. Huh. Hi. Open one of your drawers. It's gonna stay that way, right? Yeah, absolutely. Pull that one. I don't one. know how to fold these. I know, that's what I'm worried about. Jeez, so conveniently organized. By color, too? Do you like it? I do, thank you. Can you guys hear that? I'm watching her show on Netflix right now while I do this, and I'm gonna show you the sock drawer. I know it's not done, so I'll talk about that, but it's obviously so much better. Here's what we are looking like. I know I need to get some containers or like something to separate them from Chad's and from mine, but that's what it's set up like right now. That's all my socks. Over here, I wear a lot of slipper socks, as you guys know. Let me turn this down. There you go. Um, and then over there are here, or and then over here are his socks. So these are all like his nicer socks, and then like the casual comfy socks, and then the ankle socks. I put the ankle socks in the middle, like this side is definitely his, and this side is a little bit of a mixture. We wear a lot of the same socks, honestly. Um, and then right here, like for sure, these ones are mine. They're a lot smaller. So yeah, I'm gonna get something to like separate these into categories, but for right now, I think that's pretty good. I should have mentioned this guy too. This bin is where all of our mismatched socks go. There are bandanas in there too for Chad. He wears bandanas sometimes when he works out. Um, so I need to find homes for those guys. Eventually, sooner than later, hopefully, I just... I keep feeling so good about this, you guys. It's so just relaxing to open a drawer and it looked good. 
Um, these are his sweatpants right here, and then those are some pajama pants right there. His, I call them his man leggings um, for hot yoga right here, his long underwear, and then shorts are right here. And I actually put like the really old and really messy ones in the front, like ones with paint on them and that are stained and stuff because he's always working on things around the house. So he typically will pull for those first and then like the nicer ones um, that are nice and new, I put in the back. It's time for my dresser now. This is almost intimidating how much stuff is here. I honestly feel like on camera it doesn't seem like as much stuff as there really is, you guys. But this is just pajamas and workout stuff and lounge stuff and let's get through this. About to leave, already packing, come with me, I'm not really asking, we'll get away. To a place where we don't know About to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out I'm starting to fold my leggings and I thought I'd ask you guys for your opinion. Um, these are the full length leggings and these are the cropped ones. So I'm folding them a little bit differently but that way they end up about the same size. Let me know if that's how you guys would do it. I basically am folding this in half and then in half again. And this is in thirds because I feel like it's more important for it to be standing up straight plus the drawers that these are going in they're very very deep drawers so i just want to make sure they are long and skinny instead of short and wide but i do feel like things like this are subject to where you're storing them what the dresser is like that you are using because everyone has different storage spaces if you have like a really long dresser you probably are doing another fold but i think for me that works I'm already thinking about doing the KonMari method in our linen closet. Everything is just stacked in piles right now and it isn't as organized as it could be. I just love the KonMari method of everything having a home and having a place. And I know baskets are a big thing that she uses. It makes everything so much easier being able to pull out a basket and seeing everything instead of just having a messy stack of things. So yeah, that's definitely something I want to share with you soon. I just feel so much lighter and less stressed knowing things are very well organized and when i open a drawer or a door i don't have a mess staring back at me i have an organized and just really aesthetically pleasing space i can pull for things without having to pick up a bunch of stuff or move a bunch of stuff so this is something i'm just so happy i'm finally doing If you guys have any tips about the KonMari method or anything you think I should know and you think everyone else should know, write those in the comments below. I'm really looking forward to reading through all of those because I know you guys have the best tips and ideas. I seriously learn so much from you. So anything you want to tell me about the KonMari method, write it below. I cannot wait to read it and respond to you. Thank you. 
The end is near, you guys. It's so insane seeing all this stuff folded up. It takes up so much less space. It's just so weird that it's all, like, the same amount of things. But anyways, um, I kind of have, like, smaller piles going. And I first wanted everything folded because I feel like that will help me figure out where to put things and, like, how much room there is. So I have a bunch of sets right here and t-shirts and matching sets and that's, like, sleep shirts um, and all this stuff is going to be hung up. That's why I put that on the pillow. Um, what is this? Oh, these are long sleeve, like, workout tops. That stuff is for Chad. That has to go in his drawers. And over here is pajama pants, black leggings, and, uh, sweatpants. And then sets for tennis, which I don't play tennis that often anymore, but I guess I'll just hold on to that one set. And I have a feeling it's going to take up way less space. Here's a pajama drawer and I will say I did think I was going to be able to fit a little more stuff in here, a few more things. Um, some t-shirts I was planning to put in here so I'll put those in the next drawer. But I have all of my sets and I did put the sleep shirts in the very back since it's winter so I'm not really wearing sleep shirts right now. My pajama pants, sets, and all of the sweatpants. And this one I'm worried about. So this stuff is just sitting on top of the tank tops since it's winter again so i'm not wearing a ton of tank tops but i just have like the long sleeve workout tops on top of there so i'm gonna have to figure something out for this the shorts are like super duper tight in the back right here and here are some t-shirts when i rearrange the other closets i'm going to have to make room for things like this but i just want to show you guys what it's looking like right now i know this obviously will need some work i'm going to do a little research and just see what ideas she has for things like this because I honestly thought I'd have enough room but that's what we have for right now. And that completes this video guys. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. Give this a like if you enjoyed it and you want me to keep doing videos on the Kamari method around my house before and after and the whole process. Just give this a like and I will keep them coming. Also don't forget to subscribe if you are new here so you can join our fam. Hit the bell so you never miss an upload. I have recent videos below, the cleaning products I use, so much good stuff. So yeah, thanks for spending the time with me and I will see you right here in a few days in a brand new video. Bye!